Duarte and the FBI who heard all the chatter and the order of the stand down. Then we have Colonel Schaefer, Tony Schaefer and others who were on the other end being ordered to stand down and she can corroborate him being told to stand down to not kill bin Laden two weeks before and two days before 9-11. They had him. Absolutely could have killed him, the U.S. Army. And wasn't allowed to. Unbelievable. So we've got uh, that information. Uh, continuing here now, look at this type of, 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 of political correctness. This is being uh, reported by uh, the University of San Francisco. California school forced to remove racist menu. Uh, they said that uh, Turkey is offensive because it's associated with the pilgrims and with honkies. A uh, lunch menu that was part of a celebration of Black History Month was stereotypical of black Southern culture that comes from the same place where the N-word comes from, according to University of San Francisco professor. And... Uh, Again, will Turkey be seen as offensive during Thanksgiving? Well, yes. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, give me Southern cooking. I don't think it's just the black people that like chicken fried steak and sweet potatoes and, uh, and collard greens. That's just what people in the South eat. And by the way, in Austin, all the liberals, like Sandra Bullock and the rest of them, they all own Southern cooking places that are great. I mean, there's nothing racist about chicken fried steak and sweet potatoes, folks. And watermelon. This is just all complete bull. Okay? I mean, it is insane, ladies and gentlemen. My grandmother made excellent fried chicken and nothing to do with black people. And the fact that they had good taste for good food. I mean, I have just absolutely had enough of this, ladies and gentlemen. Cream gravy and mashed potatoes is not racist. It will make you have a heart attack, though. <laughs> it will kill you if you eat too much of it. The point is is that I have just about had enough. I mean, I like Cajun food. Am I making fun of French people from, from Canada? I mean, it's just, it literally, while all the real abusive stuff is going on, while all this stuff is happening, they're getting us to obsess over a, an American flag upsetting people on Cinco de Mayo. Here's another one. Black residents reject Trader Joe's because it would attract too many white people. That is in the Oregonian. The Portland African American Leadership Forum said that they do not want a white store in the area. I mean, this is the mind control, ladies and gentlemen, that is going on here. And again, that's all leftist ideology. They actually want to keep everybody in their own little subgroup. And then keep the guilt going and keep the economic war gaming going on. They want everybody divided into groups they can control. And I know that's elementary. Now, now here's the really big news that I haven't gotten to yet. I will cover this at 45 after when this guest leaves us, this guest that's popping in. This is so huge. Iran warship heading to Atlantic barely survived earlier tangle with U.S. Navy. That was in Operation Praying Manus. The Iranian frigate. Sahand burns after being attacked by U.S. destroyer and A-6E intruder aircraft in the Persian Gulf, April 18th, 1988. Thought I'd just give you some background about Operation Prank Manus. Now, let's go further here. This is what's currently in the news. Iran TV air simulated bombing of Tel Aviv U.S. aircraft carrier showing the city blowing up. Not a very good idea to do that with a country that's got 800 nuclear weapons of the highest technology. Uh, let's continue here. Here's another one, Jerusalem Post. Tehran sending message as warships approach U.S. And I've gone and checked it. It's in the Iranian press. This is out of control provocations, ladies and gentlemen. And I've done everything I can to try to stop a war with the Iranians, to try to stop the wrongful attack and backing of Al-Qaeda and the Wahhabi Sunnis uh, in Syria. And, and, and Assad is not been promoting war, not been promoting attacks on Israel. It's wrong to do what we're doing to him. It's a war crime. But Iran is really asking for it, and I will break down why coming up at 45 after when this guest leaves us who's popping in. This is a big, 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 big deal. And then we're going to get into Americans renouncing citizenship up 221%. All aboard! And I told you, and I told you, and I told you again, Bitcoin just keeps crashing and crashing. Told you four years ago, don't get into it, and I told you last year. 
Bitcoin bug causes massive sell-off. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You can eliminate inflammation and pain. You can eliminate constipation or irritable bowels. You can flatten your tummy without exercises, and you can make your complexion clearer and more youthful. You can feel good from the inside out. Find out that as far back as 1749, what was able to reverse one man's death sentence and open up 160 spas to dispense this life-giving food. Call 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Huge breaking news upon Infowars.com right now, ladies and gentlemen. We have caught them. Mayor Bloomberg, who heads up a national movement of mayors calling for forced registration, banning of gun shows, ending private sales so that they can then confiscate the guns. We've always known that. They've admitted that in their literature. 
But in an article that came out Friday, and we have new articles coming out in a mere minutes, a mayor has gone public and was in the meeting saying they talked about the real goal once they register being confiscation. Since this broke Friday, 50 mayors plus have announced they are leaving the group because of the gun confiscation plan. Adon Salazar is literally 15 minutes away from having this go up with a red link. This is so huge because it proves their sneaky plan. Now, let's go over some of the history of this if you're a new viewer or a new listener. Because even if you're for gun control, it's not about, quote, restricting mentally ill people or whatever from getting guns. That's already done. Adam Lanza got his illegally from Sandy Hook. Tried to get him five times. Stole him from his mother. It is about disarming the general public so a political criminal class can dominate us. Here is Feinstein saying the plan is... Get the votes for Mr. and Mrs. America, turn your guns in. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. And that's back when she thought she could have gotten the votes. Nowadays, they go, oh, we don't want your guns. Bloomberg says, I'm pro-gun. Just in the city I run, they're totally banned, except for people like me who have bodyguards. And Michael Moore has bodyguards. Now, here's Mike Martinez, who was mayor pro tem, uh, speaking in Austin at a gun rally. If you're a radio listener, pointing at a guy that has a sign saying, stop gun ban. And the guy says, don't ban my guns. He says, hey, we're not going to do that now. But after we're done with this, registering, that's what they were pushing. You're going to need that sign. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in the meetings, too, but he likes it. He likes the treachery. He likes the sneakiness. He likes racketeering, in my view, to get government and corporations together to register guns to then ban them while lying to the public, organizing secretly to violate God-given civil rights and disarm people. That's like trying to keep black people from voting, folks. I mean, this is literally disarming people. This is taking our rights, the right of self-defense, the most important, quite frankly, other than free speech. And we go crazy over free speech as well. Here's Mike Martinez last year. First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh Someone needs to inform them that there is no gun ban currently, but because of the work that we're doing here today, we will make your side legitimate shortly. So you hang on to that. All right, so now we have 50 mayors since this weekend. As I was saying, nothing's happening, no one's covering it. Suddenly, articles just came out separately that mayors are distancing of themselves. It's begun. One guy stood up, now they're all standing up. Now it'll be hundreds of mayors, thousands of mayors. This is how you win, folks. I can tell a chink in the armor when I see one. Smog is missing his whole breastplate right now. You can just close your eyes, shoot a black arrow, he's going down. But we got to collectively pull the arrow back. You got to get these articles at Infowars.com and get them out to people. And make every gun magazine cover this and get on the offense. Oh, it's kind of extreme to be pro-gun. It's kind of extreme to say they have a plan to enslave us. No, it's not guns and ammo. No, it's not gun publications. When you're hit with a hardcore attack, you respond with how you're being attacked. If somebody's mugging you, you don't say, oh, this neighbor's being rude to me. No, you're being mugged. When they try to take your guns, it's a criminal action. Respond to it. Get aggressive. We can defeat them because they're so open and have been caught lying. Now, let's go to another clip here. Let's go to the sheriff uh, defies New York gun ban. Uh, here is that clip in New York. The SAFE Act isn't the only example, but it's certainly one of the ones that, that points the most to the fact that our government isn't listening to the people, and we are the government. That's the sheriff in Erie County that's got millions of people in it. You know, skyscrapers in the background, major cities. Boom. Not going to do it. Let's go out to break with this clip of a woman. This is out today. Carla, homeowner, shoots shotgun to ward off would-be burglars, says she will not be a victim. And they picked the wrong target, a woman with a shotgun, greeting uh, robbers outside her home in Los Angeles. Real the homeowner feminism. is named Carla, Valkyrie. and she said she was letting her dog out at night when she heard someone in her backyard. And he said that crazy has a gun, and I shot it into the dirt, oh, into the grass shot him, area. Lady. And, and to let him know, you know, I've got a gun and I know how to use it. Way to go, Carla. She fired off a shot. That sent the guy running. Yeah, our culture's winning. Pro-liberty, pro-human, pro-liberty, pro-empowerment, pro-woman, pro-man, pro-God-given rights. We're winning. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. We're never backing down. We're never stopping. And we're going to expose the NSA's crimes straight ahead with a national initiative. Stay with us. We're on the march.
The Empire's on the